I've really been enjoying what you've been submitting for writing, but I wonder sometimes if you've given me enough information because sometimes you start off and you're telling me something and all of a sudden it's over and I'm left wondering, what? What just happened? You got me thinking about it, but then you left me hanging. So I wanted to let you know that from now on, as a writer, you have to hold on to those thoughts for longer stretches of time. It helps to hold the conversation with yourself about your own first thoughts. Some writers keep a list of ways to push your thinking so that they know how to elaborate when they're writing. You know, when you elaborate, it means that you're adding more detail and you're not giving up on a topic so quickly. Take a look at this chart. These are some sentence stems I came up with to help you stay with a topic longer than you have been. It's kind of like what we've been using in reading when we were using our sentence stems for interpreting characters. So think about the topics that you've been writing about. Family members, sports, that sort of thing. Consider these kinds of things when you're writing. Take a look at my list. In other words, that is... The important thing about this is, so keep reading this list, I'll make sure I post it. Here's the secret. If you're thinking about something, like thinking it's hard to be a good friend, the best way to get yourself to think a lot more about that is to have a really great talk with somebody about that idea. And that other person might say something like, yeah, I agree. And then she might say something, say the idea that it's hard to be a good friend in her own words, kind of like what I've been asking you to do in book club. It gives you another example of what you're trying to say. Here's what I need you to know. Essayists let the words on the page be sort of like the other person in a conversation. So they have a thought and they put that thought on paper, then they listen to the paper saying their own thought to themselves and say, yeah, I agree with that. One example of that is, or that's partly true and partly not true. It's as if someone writing an essay is in a conversation with themselves. The conversation with themselves is what allows them to elaborate, to say more about the idea, and to connect it to other ideas, and to say things in more than one way, and to go from a big idea to a specific idea. That's what I'd like for you to practice today. For the first 10 or 15 minutes, I'd like for you to write about any topic that you'd like. Just start any old free write that you'd like. If you want to start on one that you've started before, that's okay. Or if you want to start on a new idea, that's okay too. If you're having a hard time coming up with an idea, remember, you can always go back to your writer's notebook and check out your topics, your heart map, your expert list, all those things we worked on in August. After you spend 10 or 15 minutes writing, I'd like for you to go back through this list, which I'll post here on Canvas as well. I want you to try to use at least three of these sentence starters in your essay. So what you'll be turning into me will be a paragraph, or more than one paragraph, about any topic that you want, and in that I should be able to find at least three of these sentence starters. If you want to make it easy for me and put those in bold or underline them, you can, but you don't have to. If you do a good job writing, I'll find them myself. So that's what you're going to be doing today. Free writing and then go back and make sure that you elaborate on that topic by using at least one of these sentence starters.